What's going on, fellas? Today the bazooka burner is born. Testing out two things at once here today. My new experimental nozzle and my new experimental burner. This is the setup in daylight. I'm gonna buy a bunch of nozzles off of Alibaba. Some silicon carbide refractory nozzles. But before I do that, we gotta zero in on the golden ratio of combustion chambers here. So this is the test rig. This is the experimental nozzle. We've seen this in another video, but um, we haven't seen it perform as a burner nozzle yet. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. And this thing is amazing. combustion at this fuel input is amazing. This means we can really hammer fuel into this thing without worrying about a flame out. Bravo.
still watching this, man, you're a trooper. But this here is just a pretty cool illustration, a visual illustration of adiabatic cooling. Now, we're all familiar with the process of expansion causing a cooling effect through adiabatic expansion. See how the nozzle on the tip of that burner is a dark orange where everything else is glowing? That nozzle actually is cooler than the white hot areas because of adiabatic expansion. Because the velocity of the gases are going so fast, the steel molecules are bouncing up against air molecules that then escape the area so fast they do not have time to give back their elastic energy, thereby robbing that ring of heat, making the flame a little hotter. 